Hey, Dave Killerich, this is me, Egan, on your detail spawn room and uh, intelligence room combo. Uh, so, I gotta say, first here, I'll go right into the map so I don't want to spoil everything. Uh, good use of props, different props, you know, uh, just like interesting sort of environments, and even the lighting, as basic as it is, looks pretty good. I don't see a sun in the sky, but like. Actually. I guess I'll comment on that right now. There's no, there's no lights here, no light props outside, and there's no sun in the sky. Um, but it's very clearly lit very well over here with orange. Uh, and also, even if you say, well, just Egan, suppose there is a light in the sky. Well, how come there are no lights outside anyway? You know, when it's nighttime. Do we just suppose that no one goes outside at nighttime? Anyway, yeah, good use of props and stuff. Um, maybe this looks a little bit thin. Yeah, a small thing, a really small thing. Um, yeah, really good use of like everything actually. It just, it really does feel like you put a lot, a lot of time and effort into this to make it look pretty interesting. Like someone really had like, you know, fights here and a lot of like use of this place existed so in that sense i really do appreciate the detail that you put in you know like you have things buried in like the coal concrete and then you even have like a wheelbarrow here for just in case people actually like use the concrete it just looks so believable in a lot of say in a lot of sense in a lot of cases I guess I'd say, like even look, you have caution, someone could fall off and then in the top of here, you could totally fall off here. Um, yeah, I really like the use of that. Um, the green lights on all your cameras, it's very weird. I've never seen the green camera before. I guess that's kind of a unique thing. Like if that played a role in whatever map this could be in, I guess that could be kind of cool. Like if you just had like, you know, some server, even in the intelligence room down here, you had like some server that had like green lights all along the sides and they were flickering in the same tune of like specific cameras out here. That would be a kind of a cool detail, maybe. Maybe. Um, why is this arrow here? You know, left, right arrow on top of a pipe that goes nowhere. I would say generally as cool as the detail use is here there's a lot of messiness to it like you really did seem to fill as much as you can of every single space um you know with tons and tons and tons of detail that doesn't quite make a lot of sense like like a pipe like this why is there pipes that just go and around i guess that kind of makes sense but i don't know it really does seem like you're just trying to like fill the wall with something when you could have like made it not just a box you know and that would have naturally kind of filled the space a little bit better in in terms of detail though it does help you know uh let me go down into the basement this shot right here i would like take a screenshot of this this is a really cool idea i like the tipped over barrels i've never seen the top of a barrel before like the inside of it like i've never jumped on top and looked inside so being able to just be like presented the inside of a barrel that's a really cool idea um, having like the control panel on this door, it doesn't, I'm not really quite sure how this door would work. Does the door like go up to meet with here? If it does, I'd probably put like piston sides on here or do something that kind of indicates that that happens because otherwise it, it's a little bit hard to tell what exactly goes on for this door to function. Um, uh, hmm. This door looks a little strange. Um being so close to the empty pit it's not a big deal i'll just continue on uh good use of details generally here the lighting on the top of the ceiling could have generally been a bit better um you, you can see the lighting it's very basic in here but that's fine you filled the space really well uh the pillars in here are a little bit boring looking um and this this is a little bit boring looking like you could have done what two fort did and like raised up the ceiling in the hall and the uh in the stairwell just a little bit and had like a pipe that routes down into here that could have looked just a little bit better in here you could have put like some garbage or something like even like i i think i just reloaded so the bullet fell down but if you had like some stack of bullets or like a couple bullets in the corners that would look kind of cool you could have even put like a heavy fade on them just so they fade out like immediately i bet they're only like 
three polys total or whatever. Um, yeah, good use of vents. The Intel room, at first I didn't like it because it looks a little like the top of the map where you really filled all the walls that you possibly could, but generally I do like it. Um, I, I like that you thought of, oh, well, the room looks a little bit too square, so I'll bend this wall a little bit. I like that you did that, you know? It doesn't maybe quite make a lot of sense that they would put, like, this intercom on an angle up so high on the wall, but, like, I mean, yeah, I like that you thought of that. You know, maybe they would have put it, like, on, like, a little outset kind of panel or, or something here. Um, this looks a little bit busy and messy, like... You really put as much detail as you you could in here. Meanwhile, you probably could have just used better ground texture, like a darker ground texture or something, or like split. Oh, oops, wrong keys. You could have like split the bottom brush around here, and then put like a frame on it. Made this this concrete, and then made that like some darker concrete. You know, to really like point our vision not from all over the bottom of the floor to just the rocket right as opposed to having to fill up the rest of the space i like that there's so much trash back here you know you can see that from up here there's like so much trash i guess you don't really see all the trash so it kind of feels like a waste of triangles like you kind of could have just put like you could have just raised the floor in here and made it darker generally with like darker lights over on this side of the room and then just had the trash just a little bit on the tops and you would have saved on the triangles a little bit or i guess that makes sense because the door is down here so i guess not raise it but just like darken it down there just a little bit uh yeah if you made this side of the room a little bit darker yeah the green on the light it seems a little strange that there's green over there i guess it means online but i don't know if it was red i wouldn't have minded as much um the use of putting stains on the ends of every single pipe outset is a little strange like it seems like every single thing leaks like it really does seem like a little bit too much use of the stains everywhere like you could have just made it darker generally in that corner of the room you wouldn't have had to detail everything every single thing as much as you have had done um it's small very small detail but you know you see that the lights cast a shadow for some reason here that's probably because you have lights generally down the center of your room like I guess yeah you have like a light here and then it's making a shadow up along here You probably could have just disabled shadows on those lights entirely and you wouldn't really have had a problem uh, but in this case you do um, yeah I generally like the look of this Intel room I'll just pick up this up because I like picking up Intel's um I never looked into here before um, the small A sign is a little bit boring above the private door on my left. Uh, I guess you could have aligned this metal from that, but otherwise, yeah, good good use of details. I like it. Uh, pretty messy, really messy details. Like, yeah, look, you have like red light in here, but you have like green lights everywhere else. Weird kind of inconsistency. Um, if you had had like a bottom of the frame. Uh, like if you had had you have like metal frame here if you had had that not that texture but like another frame all along the bottom of here and made it just even like this bottom black just so you know it really pushed the data link into its own inset area a little bit more just not this concrete I think that would have looked a little bit better because it really does seem kind of weird that these metal handrails are just like digging into the concrete all along like they really didn't plan for that very well it looks almost like a public pool you know i don't know how many public pools you've gone to but it looks public pools are really messy bare bones and like 90s and like 80s and just ugly and disgusting and they they put no thought and they just dug holes into things and put metal like poles and everything and it looks very like mangled and like budget I wouldn't say spy tech is budget so I wouldn't have done that here uh, having the mop and bucket probably not leaning against the wall in this sort of instance it would probably flop over so just turn it just a little bit and that would have been a bit better yeah if it wasn't so bright in here so white in here it probably would have helped a little bit you know if you tinted the lights or if even you removed two of these lights over here 
It's it's very white and boring in these hallways. In these hallways, that's fine because you'd expect something like over there to be white. But for the entire room to be boringly white, at least you have like the intelligence light down here that helps a lot. But it's very boring, very very boring and kind of boring. <laughs> Um, yeah, good. I like the rocket. The rocket is a really cool idea. I like that you put like threes and two exit doors and stuff. Yeah, good use of that, dude. That's actually really cool. Uh, the blood, I, yeah, I, th I think if the rest of the room was darker, the blood would probably be better, but it doesn't make quite that much sense. I guess it, it would, I guess that's from here. Like someone in the chair fell down and then killed themselves. I think that's what that is for, but like, I don't think that's totally necessary. You know? Uh, also, what you could do is, if you wanted to have the blood be on top of here, you can make a displacement, like a dirt displacement or whatever, place the blood on top of the dirt displacement, but then texture the displacement with the uh, tools invisible displacement texture. And that would make the texture of the dirt invisible, but the blood would still, if it was an overlay, it would still shine on top of this displacement. Then you can have blood right on top of here and then make a bit more sense that someone had fallen down and then just smacked their face off the whatever and died. Um, so that's what you could have done there. Yeah, generally, I guess the lighting is a little bit boring. Outside, it looks generally fine, the lighting, I mean. Outside, the lighting looks generally fine, but like, uh, there's no lights. I think generally it could have just used a little bit not polish I would say uh, rethinking of what exactly needed polish because it really seems like you put polish on every single thing that you could possibly think of and in some cases it looks a little bit like messy you know like you really put everything all over everything like you it, it's there's no like focal points in a lot of areas like if this was an actual realistic map which it isn't it's just a detail map but if this was a real map it would be difficult to tell where the focal point is, where the players are supposed to be directed in any sort of case. If this is A point, then this door would be open, then you wouldn't have these A signs, you know. Of course, that's just a detailed thing. You'd think about that later if this was a real map, but I'm just saying that it's a little bit like an I Spy book or something, you know, or like a like a, one of those, um, what are those maps called that you hide as a prop, prop, hide and seek I don't know what it's called prop hunt ha, prop hunt yeah it looks like a prop hunt map like there's actually genuinely you could probably turn this into a prop hunt map if you just like doubled the amount of outside space you probably could turn this into a prop hunt map um, that's what I mean the density of detailing seems weird you know like it definitely looks like it's a detail piece and a good use of the TF2 environment to show like a theme but it looks a little weird that it's so jam-packed almost unnaturally in here it's fine Ooh. are you using like the uh, the beta things or whatever no I guess not but like oh, I like these props I've never really seen these in a map before so good use thumbs up of uh, you, you did a lot of things right but you did a lot of things kinda without reconsidering or, or without maybe even the possibility of reconsidering the use of some items, you know, just thinking about it just in a kind of like uh, in a final shimmer shine sort of sense. You did put a lot of polish into it, but it, it feels like just thinking about how things looked generally, like what I'm doing now, would have probably helped it bring it together just a little bit more. I would say like if this is out of 100, I would say it's like a, at least an 80 at least maybe an 84 85 it, it, I don't know it's a little bit messy a little bit messy there's little things that I just would have like helped generally but like yeah pretty good um, yeah good job dude I, I maybe I wasn't too helpful sorry if I wasn't too helpful uh, as I get into like you know I, I have e Arkham next now he's like a detailer dude so it's gonna be hard to really judge his entry because he's probably thought of everything that I was gonna complain about about you know so it's gonna be harder to judge so as you get into like the better entries it's it gets harder to really critique it without really going well it just doesn't really feel right you know it's hard to really say why it doesn't feel right anyway that's all I have to say so see you dude